Hey YouTube, how's it going? MacMan here, and today we're going to be taking a look at an application called MacKeeper. MacKeeper is a paid application, but you can also download a 15-day trial for free. So let's jump right into the application. So it is called MacKeeper. The download link will be in the description to try the 15-day trial. So once you open it up, you have this tab here. And what this application allows you to do is make sure your computer has no viruses on it, make sure it's faster than it uh, usually is, and deletes applications or files that you don't really need and it's just taking up space in your Mac. Now, it is like 20 applications combined pretty much into one. But So let's have a look at it. So the top here is pretty much just um, an overview of your whole Mac. Then we have your antivirus. As you can see, I scanned my computer and I found 64,702 items. Thankfully, zero were infected. You can scan your Mac just by hitting Start Scan. Uh, you also have some updates, schedule, uh, quarantine, whatever that is. Um, <clears throat> so that's that. Then we have anti-theft, which is if someone were to steal your Mac, uh, you will be able to track it down which is a lifesaver um, if you're worried about having your computer stolen. Then we have data control. Uh, this is just pretty much to control your data and things. I haven't done much of this yet. In the shredder, we have um, an option to delete applications or files. Uh, it's pretty much like a paper shredder, um, and it removes everything uh, which, without leaving a trace of the application or a file. Then we have a backup where we can backup things on our Mac. We also have Zero Disk, which is coming soon. It is not yet released. And apparently it is in online storage, which is very, very nice. So we don't have to store it on our Mac. Then we have Fast Cleanup. I've done all of these. Um, this pretty much finds everything on your Mac that you don't need and is taking up space and deletes it. So as you can see here, I deleted 2.6 gigabytes. I actually ended up deleting like 15. I just didn't use this because I wanted to, uh, I don't know why, I just ended up deleting it out of my finder. Um, but anyways, so here at this side, uh, this duplicate finder finds all the files and apps that are duplicated. So um, let's say I have a file and I accidentally duplicated it 8,764 times, and I only want one of those. It'll delete all that because um, it's taking up space pretty much. Then files finder finds um, files that you don't really need. Um, along with disk usage, this shows you uh, what is taking up the most space. So you can see, oh, this is taking up a lot of space. Maybe I should delete that since I don't really use it that often. Uh, then we also have the wise uninstaller, which uh, finds everything that you don't really use, um, kind of similar to disk usage. So that's pretty nice. Um, and it scans everything for you. So that's pretty cool. Then you have your optimization. Uh, I haven't really done much of this yet. I believe um, this tells you when uh, which items lo are uh, on login. So when you log in, this I think tells you when um, when applications need to be updated. Um, and then you have your default apps. Not sure what this does, but you can all uh, look around in this. Um, it is a very nice application if you want to keep your Mac safe, fast running quickly, um, that's pretty much the same thing. But anyways, that's pretty much it for Mac Keeper. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Also, don't forget to check me out on Twitter, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.